Hi, my name is Sandy Hoffman from EssentialWorship.com and this is the Strum Bass Choke Challenge as part of the You Can Be the Whole Band series. Now today what we want to look at is how you can use one instrument and literally cover a great deal of what you would do with an entire band. We want to start by reviewing some chords we're going to use in the Strum Bass Choke Challenge. Uh, the first chord is just your A major triad. If you don't know A, it's uh, all in the second fret there. We're going to go from there to G. After G, we'll do D. We're also going to end up playing an E chord. And at one point, we'll slide into B minor. And as we move from B minor to B minor over A, or B minor slash A, we'll just slide the first finger off of the first two, the lowest strings up here, and leave the fifth string open. So we'll go from there to there. Hear the movement? It's going to happen. Be ready. At the very end of the song, we're going to do this explosive chord, just to let everybody know we're finished. And uh, it's going to be A slash E, or A over E. So we're going to play that A chord we just looked at. And we're going to add the low E bass note. So we're going to go. And then we're going to shake it. So we can milk every bit of sound out of it we can get. So let's have a look at this strum bass choke challenge. The whole idea is to learn a few techniques that will translate to many songs, you know. It's, uh, it's good when we can learn something and then take it on and on and on and apply it over and over. We want to get uh, the most out of this that we can.